My dear brothers and sisters, mga hinigugma, diya ni Kristo. Today we are on the fourth week or fourth Sunday in the ordinary time. And we take a reflection particularly from Luke chapter 4 verses 21 to 30. There is one beautiful quotation that says, Each of us has a personal calling that is as unique as our fingerprint, unquote. We know that a fingerprint is such a unique identity of each individual person. Even identical twins who look exactly the same differ in their fingerprints. We say every now and then that by virtue of our baptism, we share in the mission of Christ. This Sunday, may I invite you to reflect on our mission as prophets, sharing in the prophetic role of Christ. Each one of us has a particular prophetic role to fulfill according to our own respective contexts. In life. You must have noticed that our gospel today starts with the last verse of the gospel last Sunday, with Jesus telling the listeners, as he read from the passage written by the prophet Isaiah, what today these prophetic words are or come true, even as you listen and what. Jesus spoke of the grace of God and his listeners were awed. They agreed to what he said, but when he started to explain further and their egos were hurt, they became indignant. They began to question his origins and they even planned to throw him down the cliff. A prophet is a mouthpiece of God, a spokesperson who announces God's message of love, of solicitude, and of faithfulness that at the same time, a prophet denounces the wrongdoings of the people, especially when they disobey God's commandments and precepts. And when the people become unfaithful to their covenant with the way. Jesus was true to his prophetic role. His, or he announces the good news of salvation to bring the good message to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, restoration of sight to the blind, to free the oppressed, and to announce the Lord's year of favor. But at the same time, Jesus denounces the evil in society, the abuses that the legalistic interpretation of the law brings, Jesus is the prophet par excellence whose words and deeds are unified. In like manner, the first reading narrates to us that Jeremiah heard the word of Yahweh telling him that he was chosen beforehand even before he was conceived in his mother's womb and calling him to be a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah was told by God and he's, he was scared even in the midst of adversities and threats. God encouraged him not to be scared. Yahweh assured him of his abiding help as he fulfills his mission. My dear brothers and sisters, 
each one of us has a unique prophetic mission to fulfill. Fathers and mothers are prophets in their respective homes. Educators, mentors, life coaches, trainers, managers, superiors, and all of those who are in authority are prophets in their own respective fields. Elderly people are prophets to the younger generation. Young people can be prophets to each other, even to older people. We can be prophets in the cyberspace, in the digital world of communications. How? By continuously sharing the good news of God's unceasing love and mercy for us. By sharing the virtues that we are supposed to uphold good, as good Christians and responsible citizens of our country, such as respect, <coughs> honesty, diligence, politeness, sincerity, fidelity, etc. On the other hand, our prophetic mission is more challenging in terms of addressing and dealing with the proliferation of fake news, lies, half-truths, trolls, fabricated stories that destroy the reputation and the good intentions and the good name of upright and sincere individuals. May we be extra vigilant and discerning whenever we are faced with such challenges. St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians exhorts every one of us to strive eagerly and the most precious gifts that our lives may have been anchored and faith, hope, and love, but especially on love. I strongly believe that when we allow the love of God to reign in our hearts, all our decisions and actions will be guided accordingly. When love is the driving force behind all our efforts in our various apostolates and advocacies, we will always be on the right track. In fulfilling our prophetic mission, whenever we may be or wherever we may be, and whatever circumstance we are in, may the love of Christ in our hearts and in our lives be such that everything we do and say, whether, of course, in speech or in action, may bring glory to God and may bring unity and charity to the community. My dear fellow prophets, let us find comfort in journeying together hand in hand, for God assures us all of His protection and never failing help. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>